up, it's Alexis. So as you can tell, I have absolutely no makeup on. I literally just got back from the gym and I was about to shower and then I thought, oh, I should make a quick video about how I do my eyebrows. Um, that might sound kind of weird, but I have very blonde eyebrows to the point where they are literally transparent and my eyelashes too. And it drives me crazy, like I wake up every day without eyebrows. And I just sometimes want to have maybe like natural looking brows, not like completely done up brows with makeup every single day. What I started doing this year is I started dyeing them and I didn't just like walk into a salon and get them dyed. It kind of like took a little bit of research. I didn't even know if it was safe because it's like by your eyes. So I kind of did a couple of Google searches and that is actually pretty common and people dye their eyebrows all the time. So I was like, okay, like this is a thing, let me try it. I called a couple of salons, they were like, no, we won't just dye your eyebrows for you unless you get your whole head done, and I didn't want to do that. So after that, I found this place that would dye them for me. It was just a temporary dye, it wasn't permanent because I was really scared because, hello, it's my face. So I found this place online and I went there and it was like literally in someone's house. It was so sketchy, but they were really nice and um, it was very legit. You know, they had the whole office set up just in like the house. Um, so I did that. I did that. They did my brows. They came out good. I was so, so excited just to see color on my brows without having to put makeup on. It was about $20 and it only lasted like a week and a half. So then I called my cousin. <sighs> Long story short, we tried it. She brought over some dye, some developer, and like a brush, and she showed me how to do it too. And it was so easy, and I had permanent dyed eyebrows. I wanna say it lasted a month. Like it didn't start to fade until a month. I am completely fine with dyeing my eyebrows once a month, um, basically for free, because now I know how to do it. So I thought it would be so cool to show you guys how to do it because maybe there are some other blondes out there who have the same struggle or people who just want fuller brows. Um, regardless of the reason, here is how my cousin taught me how to do it. Um, she's she's a hairdresser, so like she kind of knows what the hell she's doing. I will put her Instagram below if you want to follow her. Um, she's like my best friend, so shout out to Katrina. So basically my cousin gave me a uh, hair dye. And then she told me to go out and just get like a small thing of developer. So this, I bought at like a Sally Beauty store. It was $3 and it's like all this and I literally just use a drop of it every time I do it. So it's totally worth it. It's a lot cheaper than $20 a month. And then she gave me like a little brush to use. And okay, so what we did was we took just like a solo cup and I just squirt like a little bit of the hair dye into the solo cup and then a drop of the developer and I just stir it all up and apply it to my brows and then wait 30 minutes or so. Um, sometimes it does stain my skin and that lasts like a day so just keep that in mind if you're going out anywhere important right before you do this. I have nowhere to go today so I have no problem if my skin gets a little bit stained but it comes off so don't worry. So even though it might look like it's going on clear it's going to change colors as it I guess develops onto my skin, onto my hair. I don't really know the right terminology, but it works, so. I kind of like to fluff the brows so that it gets like on every single one, it like lifts them. I'll be back in 30 minutes. 